Greetings, my chronic connoisseurs! Josh's guest today is gonna bring the thunder from down under. And now, here's our host, Josh Milliken! Welcome, folks. You've arrived at the intersection of horror movie fandom and cannabis culture. But don't worry, you don't have to smoke or vape to be a chronic horror fan. Just sit back and relax with whatever makes you happy. Come on, let's get lit. Experience the chronic. Prepare to get lit. Our next guest certainly doesn't look like your stereotypical cannabis user. Oh my, Josh! Good How to see did I you. get here? Hi! So before we go any further, introduce yourself a little bit to some of my uh, viewers who may not know who you are. I'm obviously from a thunder from down under, but I've lived in the US for seven years. I have written for Fangoria, for Blumhouse, uh, for Shock Till You Drop. Now I'm creative director of Arena Cine Lounge. And what do you Hollywood. do there? Well, I do things like design cool shirts for us that have knives on them. Fantastic. Are you going to hook mean, me up with one of those? Absolutely. And I've also got some killer popcorn for you too. Nice. <laughs> uh, what's cannabis culture like in Australia? Well, it's not legal like it is here. It's only legal in one state, which is um, where all the politicians live in the ACT. Australia is like such a natural place for a horror movie because the scorpions, the snakes, the dingoes, the you know kangaroos even, I mean. Oh yeah, kangaroos are actually, I've only encountered nice ones, but my mother said she witnessed one slice a child in half. What? Yeah. All right, Camilla. Now, I don't know if you know this, but I have a, a crack team of writers here at Chronic Horror who uh, do some really important research and help me come up with these questions that will really help me uh, understand your psychological profile. <laughs> okay. All right, you ready? Yep. You're in a horror movie and you're about to die. You can choose your method of death as long as it's something that's already been done in a horror movie. How do you die? I feel like I would um, probably die in an oven because there might be tasty treats in there for me to eat at the same time. So I'm like, ah, ah. <laughs> well, we'll have some tasty treats for you. <laughs> Does cannabis play an important part in your life? It actually doesn't. I try to kind of avoid it. And, and let's not procrastinate any further. Let's get started. Let's get you lit. Uh, we've decided to put you in this gas mask. <laughs> um, what we're going to do is we're going to put this over your face and then we're going to attach this no. bomb device. You know, you might not be able to breathe for two or three minutes, um, but then really once we attach, you might pass out, but when we're done, you will absolutely be feeling the effects. I think so I ahead, will be well and truly and lit. On. Oh my Lord, what have you got me into? Camilla, I'm joking. Oh, thank God. And look we at wouldn't what a, do that to you. Look at what Come a good on. sport I am. I was going to do it. You are such a good Let's, sport. Well, look, it Isn't is rather... Isn't she a sport? It's rather smashing. Let's everyone give it up oh, for Camilla, you, who you. is actually willing to put on the Mad Mask weed gas mask it's for Chronic Horror. You're awesome, though. And mm -hmm. I have a little helper who helps me out in, in these situations. So let me, let me first see if she's home. Hey, Miss Thing, you around? Oh. Hey, Miss Thang, give me some fingers. Oh, she's great. I definitely <laughs> think we want some sativa, which is more of a mental high, and I think that we should vape. So mm. why don't you hand me a couple vape pens loaded with limon sativa oil. Ooh, French. Enchanté. Yes. All right. Thank wow. you, Miss Thang. This is the part of the show where I'm supposed to distract you. Well, Josh and Camilla, inhale and exhale. Mm. So Camilla, how you feeling? Well lit, my friend. <laughs> well lit. Fantastic. So we've been uh, vaping the limon oil. We got it at Medicine of the Angels in Los Angeles. And we were talking about how in my experiences, there are three basic undertones to cannabis when it comes to the aroma and the flavor. You've got the earthy undertones, you've got the pine undertones, and you've got the citrus. We've been imbibing on the citrus <laughs> undertones. Fantastic. <laughs> well, just so you know what's coming next. <laughs> Stop. Come on, Josh, what's going next? Next. <laughs> 
what we have in store for you is a movie. Ooh. You know, I've chosen one of my favorite Australian horror movies in keeping with the theme, as we've so far discussed. But mm -hmm. you might not know this since you're not as experienced with cannabis culture, but there's one thing that's completely integral when you're about to watch a movie on cannabis. You know what that is, right? Oh, does it start with them and end in A's? I'm talking about munchies. Munchies. <laughs> yeah. I got it. So based on Camilla's answers and her country of origin, I have the perfect recipe in mind. I'm getting ready to whip up my bloody salted caramel upside down cake. And it does have a few more steps involved, but trust me, you'll take one bite and you'll know that every step was worth the extra effort. In a mixing bowl, combine your sugar, flour, baking soda, baking powder, and salt. Then mix together. Make a well in the center of your dry ingredients, and then add in your melted butter, Greek yogurt, one egg, then add in the vanilla extract, and mix until combined. Shit, flinging dough everywhere. Then spoon the batter over the caramel and apple mixture, then spread until smooth. Then bake in an oven preheated to 350 degrees for 25 to 35 minutes. Oh, you didn't! No. Is that Vegemite? Are thing? you guys hungry? No. Oh my god. I think oh, you are. This is the best! No. Look no. at the presentation. Wow. No, come on. Casey, why did you do this to me? Mm. Are we still friends? Mm. Mm, I don't know yet. It's very good for you, too. It's like okay in my mouth, but I don't want to swallow it. <laughs> okay, Josh, I have to be honest with you. I actually made something very delicious. I have a bloody salted caramel apple upside down cake. Yeah. This looks like something that you'd want to have. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That'll get the taste out nicely. It looks amazing. Are you ready to give it a try? I'm ready? Can oh we dive God. in? Of course. So All right. you, you get a fork this time. Mm. Very fancy. All right. Cheers, you guys. Cheers. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. This is fantastic. Thank you. Mm. I have no complaints. I forgive you for the Vegemite. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys enjoy. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. All right. What do you say, Camilla? Are you ready to get on this thing? Absolutely. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. The film I picked is The Loved Ones by Sean Byrne. And what I didn't even know when I selected this for us you actually know one of the actresses? Yeah, I, the, I went to school and she was like my best friend growing up. She plays uh, Xavier who, Samuels. Who's she? Victoria Thane. Victoria Thane. Yeah. And who does she play? She plays the, I can't remember her character name, but she plays the girlfriend of Xavier Samuel. Oh, the main character's yeah. girlfriend. Yeah. She is smoking hot She's... in this movie. There's a scene in a car, I think, that gets a little explicit. Yeah, it does, it does. I remember her telling me great detail about oh, shooting yeah? that scene. Let's do it. <laughs> so what I enjoy about this film there's a subplot throughout this whole thing where the guy's nerdy best friend takes a really hot chick to the prom. To That's the prom that right. he was supposed to go to his I remember. with his girlfriend before Lila kidnaps him. Yeah. You come to the prom? Yeah. I'm going with Holly. Come on. <coughs> yes! She said yes! While, while the main character is being mutilated and going through hell, you've got this nerdy guy who's having the time of his life with this rebellious, hot teen who's way out of his league. And what you slowly find out as the film progresses, oh, here's, the, here's your friend. Here's, oh my god, oh my I just god, saw your friend's weird. nipple. It's, it's weird watch. to look at this? Well, yeah. This is definitely above PG-13. Yes. And what we realize in the subplot, which is so easy to forget, which I didn't even pick up on the first time, mm. is that the two experiences are being mirrored and they're extremely different, but if you pay attention to who the hot rebellious chick is, mm. 
you find out at the end that she is integral to the story. I can't even remember all this. I know you can't. Have you just got, you've just got a lot deeper on it though than most Well, people. you know, a second viewing and you know, you notice things when you imbibe that maybe you wouldn't the first yeah. time. Actually, <laughs> you know, you've been, we've been plugging things all through here. So I have a, a present for you. It's called Popcorn of the Living Dead. This nice. is Arena Cine Lounges. Look at me doing such a plug here. Arena Cine Lounges unique signature blend, one of seven. But here's Popcorn of the Living Dead and the amazing thing about, and it's all gluten-free, non-GMO, all of that stuff. Fantastic. But uh, if you make your way to the bottom like a grave digger with this bag, you will find treasure. Because like a Cracker Jack. Yeah, and it's horror themed. No way. Yeah, this stuff's amazing. Pretty as a picture. What did you think of the dad? He was pretty good, wasn't he? That, uh, yeah, he's great. I mean, he's sick. You know, yeah. you always remember Lola for this film because yeah. she's like one of the craziest uh, female villains of all time. She really is. She needed a part too. She, Absolutely. She really I mean, yeah. maybe she's just been in a coma this whole time. Yeah. Will you go to the dance with me? Sorry, Lola. I'm going with Holly. I mean, you can do anything. Or maybe they could do a sequel that's a prequel, or maybe they could do yeah. Daddy's own horror movie. Oh, that's what they call wow. him. That's what they call him in the credits. He's just Daddy. Daddy's. I, I will take all three of those. I love all three. I would sign up. I'd watch Let's all of them. Let's go pitch. Yeah. They just carved him up and they're throwing um, a detergent into his wounds because that obviously enhances the experience of being tortured. Oh no, wait, it's it's cooking salt. She's just evil. Oh, Ooh. he really cops it in this, doesn't he? I know. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> It's just like you, it puts you right in the moment, man. That's hard to shake off. It's really nicely shot as well. I love the colors. It's not like, have you noticed it's got quite a sheeny, colorful palette? It does. It, it's, it's one of these films where you're like, where have you been all my life? Look, it's really sad because I feel like the Australian film industry puts a lot of money into film and real quality content. And um, it just seems a waste to me that how do people find out about these films in America? I guess we talk about them on shows like Chronic Horror. Yeah. Say happy. Happy. Suck it. Show me! So now that they've injected his throat with bleach, carved into his skin, rubbed salt into his wounds, nailed his feet to the floor to keep him from <gasps> running outside. That was a good scene. Now, they're going to have to put a hole in his forehead and pour some boiling water in to turn him into a zombie so that he will behave appropriately. And here it comes where it's like, oh, stop. Mm. She drills like I do. You've been hoping it wouldn't come to this, but... Mm. Oh, oh, the sounds! <laughs> wow, and she's got that thing where you start to realize... Oh, and his skull is smoking. Mm. Oh! That is the appropriate amount of blood for that kind of incision. Oh my god. I know. So now that you've seen The Loved Ones a second time, and I pointed out some of the subtleties and the subplots that really tie everything together, yeah. what do you think? What do you think on a second viewing? Like you said, it was the drill body horror that just made you forget about everything else, but I gotta take a third look now. Right? Yes! And then before I let you go, a couple things. I want to find myself the treasure. Oh, yes, 
go for it. And you have to sign our splash oh. box for Miss Thing before absolutely. I let you go. Where's absolutely. Where's the Sharpie? Let's get her to sign. Yeah. What'd you, you find? Did you find it I yet? got the ticket. I got what a Suspiria postcard. Woo! Yeah. Yay. Horror, chronic horror. For your brain stem. Come on. Stay lit, everybody. Hey, thanks, Camilla. Thank you, Great Josh. You. Come on. Tune in next time for more chronic horror. And always remember to partake in cannabis related recreational activities responsibly. <laughs>